it's the time of the year where the local council has the hard rubbish collection. That's when people do their spring cleaning and the verges become full of other people's cast offs. I'll go through a few of the things that I found. The hardest to carry, but I couldn't leave this behind, was this long piece of plastic drain pipe. How could this be useful in electronics? Light, strong and easily drilled, you could cut sections of it as enclosures for various QRP rigs and accessories. I know that Eric Sears ZL2BMI has used this material for his various small sized 80 meter double sideband transceivers. Another good find was a whole heap of office telephones. I've only got a few of them here and I've pulled them all apart. But you do get a handset, the receiver and inside an electric microphone and various printed circuit boards. Most of the parts are surface mount but there are some through hole components. RF chokes are also useful. And there's a couple of crystals. I can see 24 megahertz and 15.36 megahertz. These are actually from a stereo system which I left most behind. But there are some through hole components on it. It's probably a good idea to stock up on these in case their availability shrinks with the move to surface mount. The thing that attracted me about this board was the crystal. Having a look, it's actually 7.2 MHz. Not often that you find an amateur band crystal, except for 3.58. This could be useful for a homebrew phasing SSB or double sideband transceiver. Or even a software defined radio, where you can tune frequencies around this crystal's frequency. Now we'll break into some toys. The only thing I'm taking from this is the speaker. This is a remote control. Helpfully, it mentions the frequency. It might even have a crystal inside. Notice they've even got a plastic loading coil. Of no effect except to look good. This is very simple indeed. One transistor as the oscillator. Another is probably the power amplifier. There is a crystal. You probably can't read it, but it says 40.68. Look what I found. Two dollars. Despite all the dust, the speaker looks surprisingly good. Electric microphone. Another early morning haul and 30 minutes on the bike got me all this. An AM FM radio cassette. If nothing else, you can salvage the variable capacitor from it. Continue to remain at your current job. Oh, SEN.com.au sport. On 13 10. on the project with the Jeep and New Zealand to begin on Tuesday. This didn't look particularly attractive, but then I saw a printed circuit board poking out. This is the most enticing. Again, I saw a printed circuit board peeping out. This is an HF linear amplifier. MRF 455, quite possibly 100 watts. The wires have been savagely cut but it may be possible to form something from this, or at least use the parts. But apart from that, the rest can go back on the street. And I betcha it will be gone by the time I get home tonight. 